going to show you today how to make a cute little bow holder using the felters that I got in my unboxing from Enchanted Sparkles Craft Supplies. And um, this is what I've got. I've got a sheet of felt, my little dress felty with the bees, and this little smaller glittery bun bumblebee here. And what I've done is on the felt I have taken a pencil, or you could get a, um, a fadeable marker. I do have one but it's white so I don't want to risk it so I've just done pencil and I've just drawn round both pieces and like I said this is just basic white felt you can pick it up from most suppliers and this is just to make my back look nice and neat and I am using one inch ribbon and I'm using 50 centimeters smaller scissors easier to work with and I'm going to cut just inside my pencil lines rather than just over them because I want them to be a little bit smaller than the felt is not a little bit bigger this bit is a bit boring I'll put the link to Enchanted Sparkles in my description box for you. And I don't know if all of you know, but I do also have a Facebook group. I'm very, very active in there. Have lots of tips and advice. And as you can't run here, you can come and show me all your makes that you make using my tutorials, which is one of my favourite things. Uh, favourite things. I love seeing what you create and like what twists you do. On your own versions it's always so interesting to see like what colors and like what prints you all use because obviously everyone has such different tastes because I like more classic designs personally than more OTT looks but like I said it's all personal choices what's yours are you more OTT or are you a more classic bow look? Let me know in the comments and I'll answer everyone who responds. So I've just finished cutting, like I said, in those lines. Round we go. Last little bit. There we go. And then we've got one dress size. And one B size. There we go. So I'm just going to snip a little bit of this off to even up my line a little bit. Don't forget to heat seal. I'm just going to put a bit of glue across the top here. I'm going to line it up and I'm going to do it about a few centimetres up and I'm going to put an extra bit of glue just there so it's glued all the way down. I don't want this bit to come free. I'm just going to trim because I can see a bit of my pencil, so I'm just going to trim that way, that's better. So I'm going to take this felt piece, and as you can see it's a touch big but well, that's okay because we can trim it down in a minute. But I'm going to put glue all around here. Across our ribbon. Mind your fingers when you do this. Just 
some cross there as well. And then I'm going to take my felt, place that on top. Mind your hands because it does get quite warm through the felt. I'm just going to flatten that down, and make sure there's no glue overspill or anything like that. There we go. Now there is a little bit around the edge, but we're going to tidy that up in a minute. And again, we're going to do the exact same process, but I'll be at the end. Work out where you want the placement to be, whether or not you want him straight or whatnot. Again, make sure you've heat sealed this side. When you're doing it, make sure that the ribbon's the right way up as well. It's about here. I'm going to put just a little bit more glue there. Okay. Make sure you felt pieces the right way around. There we go. And then we're going to put some glue on this bit. And again, just give it a pat down so you don't have any like lumps of glue underneath your felt. So there you go. And again, as you can see, we've got a little bit of over around there. So all I do is I take my scissors. Don't cut your felty. We are purely cutting the felt that is underneath. Also, don't cut your ribbon here. I don't want to cut any of the ribbon. There you go, so that's one bit. You just don't want to see any of that felt from, from behind. And again, we're going to do exactly the same with the dress. Don't cut the felt, felty, just the felt. There we go, that's one side. Just move your run out of the way so you're not cutting into that. And then the opposite side. And the top. So I found a piece of wine, white 9mm, you need roughly about 15, 15 centimetres, maybe a little bit less. And then we're just going to make a loop, like so. And what I do is I take my scissors, cut it off like this, take my lighter, pinch that together so it's nice and secure. And then I should have left a pocket at the top, but I didn't. So I've had to peel mine back a little bit, but you'd leave that bit unstuck. And then we're going to put a touch of glue back here. Where we want the 
hanging bit to be like that and then we're going to re-glue the felt bit but like i said leave it when you do, when, when you do your own version and mind your fingers with your glue leave that bit a little bit unglued so you've got the pocket to put that in rather than lifting it up like i did learn from my mistakes rather than actioning them yourself there you go and again trim down your felt if you need to but i like it because it gives you a, a tidier back and your holder still looks nice and pretty and your ribbon's nice and secure and not going to come loose just last And there we go, a super cute bow holder, perfect to hang all your pretty bows from, and away you can go. Thanks for watching, bye!